So good morning. Really awesome to be here, beautiful place. Um, so it's really cool to be at this time in web design because we're finding out all the different things that web design is. And most of us start off uh, sort of starting with uh, following the print direction, thinking about graphic design and uh, making beautiful things. And the example we just saw from Brennan was, was awesome. I love that diesel example. Uh, and for me, uh, I found out sort of after starting with web design and doing graphic things, visual things, marketing things, uh, that I really liked doing sign-up forms, really liked making things that were functional, making things that uh, involved programming, that were a little bit more science than art, things that had reasons, that did things, and had results for people. And uh, this sort of whole area of thinking is, uh, this is a place for, uh, for, for people who have a different sort of angle than maybe the creative artistic thing. And web apps are a really exciting place to be. So sign-up forms, I'm going to talk about 10 different ways that we can make sign-up forms better. Uh, and uh, I hope that some of you who are sort of new to the web design world are uh, maybe finding out about a different arena to play in. So uh, let's just start with the first thing here. Um, when we have a sign-up form for a web app, very often, we have rote information, like what's your name, you know? Uh, what is your time zone? What's your email address? And this stuff is effortless to fill out. But at the same time, we're asking people to make stuff up. And making stuff up sucks, because it's just, it's not easy to create new things. So these are easy, first name, last name, email. Yep, got it, I know it. But it's a lot harder to come up with something new, like username. Oh, another, I need another password. And is it going to be taken? Are there different requirements? Or how many letters do I have to have? This stuff is a pain, and we have to use our brain to do it. So if you have a project, and you want people to sign up, you want people to get in, give them easy questions first so that they build up momentum, so that they invest themselves in it, get some movement going, and then when they get to the harder stuff, they'll be more willing to follow through. We all have this problem when we're signing up for a new kind of app, or we're signing up for a new service, and we're trying to get a name taken. And of course, it's always taken, and we need to get a different combination. And we want to make this also as easy as possible. So what we should do is we should use this new Ajax goodness that we have these days to check right as you type it. You know, is it available? Uh, just make things easier for people. Make, let them loop through different options and find the best thing. Instead of filling out an entire form, clicking submit, and then, oh, it's taken. I'm really sick of just wanting to try out an app and having to fill out all these fields that have nothing to do with getting started, you know? If there's information that might be useful in the app at some point, then ask for it inside the app when it's relevant. But to get me going, just ask the couple little things that you need in order to create an account for me so I can play. Because this isn't about giving you information. This is about me getting a chance to play. I want to try out your app and see what it's like. So one thing that we do, this is from inside of one of our recent products, High Rise. This is when we're adding a new person. It's not quite a sign-up form, but it's the same sort of idea, where we're adding new thing in here, and we want just enough information to get rolling. If I want to add a person into an app where I track people, all I really need is a name, and it might be useful to add a company. I could add maybe a photo for this person. I could add background information, all kinds of contact info. But to get started, I don't need it. Words are your friends, especially for those of us who have a little bit of programming experience or we're doing PHP and we have sort of a slightly engineering perspective. We forget that forms are functional, but they're for people. And we make things like this where we have room option, capital letters, as short as possible, totally abstract, you know, where we see uh, all kinds of really terse language and forms. And we should relax and remember that we're talking to people and say, hey, which room would you like to reserve? You know? What kind of seat would you like? What sort of option, blah, 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 that sort of thing. Being conversational, not being afraid to use the language that we've got and use the wonderful thing called the sentence. OK, if, if, if there's a parentheses in the number, it's the same damn number. And if your form field yells at me because it doesn't know what a dash is, then you really need to think a little bit more about, about, about the software. I mean, when you're asking people for information, it's great to really think, what is the information I need? 
and to eliminate all possibility for error, all possibility for frustration. So I had, I had this all the time with phone numbers, social security numbers, whatever. It's like, give it to me in a specific format. Um, but somebody who designs a form that way, who designs software that way, isn't thinking about me as a person who's trying to sign up. And what I wanna do is I wanna give you my phone number, so you should really make it easy for me, because that's a special thing if I'm giving you that information. It's great to always think about inspiration. Sometimes when people sign up for uh, our products and they use our products, we just assume that they have this kind of infinite patience and infinite creativity to explore every aspect of our form and every aspect of our product, and they're just totally into it. And they're not really. So it helps to give examples and to inspire people. And we can do that even in really simple ways. So if we're just asking for somebody's company, we can even just give some example company names below and they can say, oh, you know what, I have a company too. <laughs> Tell me what I'm getting. It's also great when we're signing up for something to remind exactly what I signed up for, show me that you're on top of the situation, that you've got everything together and show me sort of some confidence. Let me build confidence that I'm getting the right thing. So this is from the bottom of the high rise sign up. After we filled out all the fields, it says, your premium plan is blah, blah, blah a month, and this is how your trial is going to work, and we know the plan that you want. Click to get it now. Warning, error, oh my God, everything is broken. This is another kind of funny thing. I don't know, I don't know where this came from, but for some reason, a lot of sign-up forms have this sort of everything is nice and friendly. Hey, please sign up. Our product is awesome. Try it out. And then you fill out some forms, and you click Submit. And if you do something wrong, you get capital letters and red text and like, ah, everything is exploding and, you know, error. And uh, it's like, it's not a big deal if people make a mistake. And we should think a little bit more about the human side. So, for example, if we're sitting with somebody uh, at a table, maybe, you know, like if we're at an office and we fill out a form with somebody and we miss a field, they're not going to hand it back to us and go, error they're probably gonna say something a little more gentle, like, hey, can you, can you check this? You missed a field here, you know? So, just this sort of kind of gentle, more human way of thinking about things, even though we're making this technical stuff, we're still dealing with people, and we try to remember that. It's also great to think about sign up as a process that is more than a form, it has a beginning, it has a middle, and it has an end. And the beginning, of course, is where we tell people about our product and we invite them to sign up and try it out. And the middle of the process is when they're actually filling out the form and they're getting in the door. And then the end of the process is where they've signed up and they're actually coming to our app for the first time. And very often we treat this as, a, as a, like it's not a special thing and we show them just a blank login screen as if they're visiting any other time. But it's actually a special thing when somebody comes to our app for the first time. So what we did in High Rise is we have a special state that appears, this block appears above the login screen, and we can know if it's your first time coming or not. And if it's your first time, we say, hey, you know, thanks for signing up, and this is the page that you can bookmark so that you can come back anytime. And we're continuing the good login, the good sign-up experience so that there's a continuity in the experience and that people really feel like, oh, like they're being invited into something and they've, you know, they're getting a, good, they're getting a ball rolling here. And the last thing is, if I sign up, I just want to get the keys so I can take the thing for a drive. It's really important that we make it as easy as possible to just get in there and play with it and experiment. So one way that we can do this is to keep the sign up the email that we send as brief as possible, not tons of extra info, not lots of support stuff, not lots of tips or getting started info. What we can actually do is just give them the information they need to get in, and then after they get into the app, we can use different ways to, to give them extra information in the appropriate places. The way that we're doing this in High Rise is we've actually added a new tab called the Welcome tab. And uh, we're really happy with how this is working for people because what, me what it means is people sign up for the app and the first tab that they see isn't necessarily part of the app. It's like, uh, it's like a getting started guide. So uh, instead of including this in the email, it's in the app. So a couple big ideas that I just want to review here. Uh, 
We want to think about momentum. We want to think about how to make things easy so people can move through the process and get through. We want to uh, remember that sign up is a continuous thing that ends with people using the app and that we want to make that a continuous process. And then the last thing is that nobody is excited about signing up. Nobody is excited about filling out a form. What they're excited about is the cool stuff that they can do with your app. They're excited about how they can kick more ass because your app enables them to do more. And if we take the focus off of ourselves and off of our own app and our own forms and our own documents and we think about how they can kick ass, then they're going to have a better experience. Thanks. <laughs>